Welcome back. Well, the town of Hempstead supervisor set off quite a raging debate when he called for free air for all town residents when they checked their tires at their local gas stations. But the stations and the folks building those quarter-fed air machines say, hold on. The air you breathe is free, but not when you need it to inflate the tires on your vehicle. Compressed air machines routinely charge a dollar or more, but now town of Hempstead officials say they're ready to change that. Motors will get free air, not hot air, in the town of Hempstead. Supervisor Anthony Santino says current town law already gives customers the right to get air for free, but only if they ask. We have received complaints that employees are evasive, saying things like the owner isn't here, the manager isn't here right now. The proposed law would now flatly prohibit stations from charging drivers anything. Eventually, like you might think it's just a quarter now and then 50 cents then, but it adds up and it keeps going up. The Gasoline Retailers Association says it'll oppose the legislation. Vendors who manufacture and service the machines say they can cost upwards of $2,000. Local vendor Bill McCabe says free air could bankrupt his 33 year old business. It would cause me to actually have to lay off several people. I have about 30 employees, 10 of them living in the town of Hempstead, and this would be quite devastating. McCabe says his machines are routinely vandalized or damaged by vehicles like this busted pump, and he's worried the idea of free air will spread to other towns. Many service stations already offer free air. Owners say it's a small cost that helps bring in more customers. We are a hometown business, and to thank the customers for all their loyalty to me, I could at least provide them with free air. Even so, owner Rudy Massa says he doesn't like the idea of towns mandating free air. Well, joining us now is Bill McCabe, owner of Service Station Vending Equipment, and welcome to the show. Uh, you manufacture these machines, Mr. McCabe. Town supervisor saying opponents like yourself, though, blowing hot air on his proposal for free air. How do you respond to that? Well, at the at the at the crux of it, it, it seems that we are charging for for free air. The air is not free. The air has to be compressed. It has to be driven through a hose and a gauge to be put into the customer's tires. You tell them, I mean, I read that they can cost upwards of two grand to build these that, machines. They right, have some Richard. fairly expensive components, right? That's right, Richard. Typically, to put a machine in like you, you would typically see, I don't know if you can see this, um, at a gas station, this, this machine is about $3,500. This is typically what you would see at a gas station right now. So this $3,500. bucks. Well, th this is a coin-operated machine that I install almost everywhere. So, without the remote device that I've had in the Hempstead machines. Well, now, you, you know, even when, uh, when you were coming in, there was a debate between our crew about yes. some people saying they could understand yes. it, others saying, hey, I'm never going to pay for free air. And we talked to gas station owners in the same territory. They say, you know what? It's not that big a cost. We'll absorb the cost of getting the machines from you and providing the free air. What's wrong with going back, in some cases, maybe even to the hose attached to the garage door? Maybe you don't well, need the fancy air machine. Back 40 years ago, the, the typical service station had a, a bay operation with uh, with a huge compressor, and the, the, they would typically throw a hose out, and that that was just a byproduct of the of the huge compressor working inside. <clears throat> Those days are gone. Most repair shops are no longer uh, around. And they've been converted to convenience stores. The convenience stores don't have those large compressors anymore, so it necessitates them uh, installing a machine like this. Yeah, they may not even have a garage. A lot of them just are providing Correct. it as a service. And the other to... thing is a safety issue, Richard. Those those large compressors back in the day put out about 180 pounds of, of, of air, which typically is very dangerous. It could blow up a tire, hurt a kid doing his bike tires. And then you hear the town officials saying the exact same thing, that it's a safety issue, but they're saying it's a safety issue because what if people are driving around with underinflated tires that, and they have that's accidents? A, that's true. And back before my machines were as, as prevalent as they are, we typically would drive around for, for, for many miles trying to find reliable air because it, it, it was no incentive for a station owner to put a, 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 an air hose out anymore because he didn't have a, a repair shop. Yeah, because sometimes so my they machines, would get vandalized. Uh, you, we even saw absolutely. something got run over by a truck in one parking lot. Absolutely. The, these machines are, are, are available. First, let me, let me make the point that they're available 24-7, 365 for the customer because they have a, self, they have a compressor inside, which is a compressor that's right built into the machine, um, and they're typically repaired the same day. If so you send your guys out there. You have we do 30 people several working hundred on service it. calls a week. Well, I'm sure you have a, a very uh, legitimate business. Nobody's really questioning that. But you come down to this thing where people believe the air should be free, <laughs> and you run into that. Are you worried this proposal is going to pass and then maybe spread to other Absolutely towns? Absolutely, I am. Yes. 
I absolutely what worry happened at about the that. hearing when you were there with other opponents? Because I know the Retailers Association and the station owners are opposed to this. Yes, there, there was a significant turnout at the meeting, and uh, frankly, only one person uh, spoke in, in um, support of the legislation. The rest, there were dozens and dozens of people, and many spoke uh, supporting our position, which is if, a, if a, a station owner or retailer decides to charge, he should be allowed to, to, to be compensated for this $2,000 a year uh, a service that is provided. Well, let's go back to what I think prompted this in the town of Hempstead. And I understand they're already ticketing some stations that yes. are not following the existing law, not the one they want to change. The existing law says that you can charge, as is the case in the town of Hempstead, but you have to put a sticker on the machine saying, hey, if you want air for free, just ask the attendant and we'll take care of that. Yes. How come there are places without these stickers if that's been the law for so long? Back in 1991, the town and I agreed in writing to, that I would provide uh, a remote system that would turn the machine on for free if asked. And does <clears> it work? I mean, you hear the town saying uh, that the clerks are Like anything else, it. once in a while it was a problem, but we would address it immediately. Uh, I think they d deliberately went out and, and tried to find uh, issues from the very few complaints that they got. This, what, what I agreed to with them worked for 25 years. It was, was never a problem. And this law that Hempstead has, I believe, is, uh, is one other town, what, Oyster Bay? Has a similar Oyster Bay. law? Yes. Okay, so, and then the state law requires that any gas station that has at least four gas pumps must provide their customers with That's air so, in some way or right. form and, or another. And it, it specifically says that it can be at a charge. And that's why I started my business 33 years ago. I, we could not find reliable tire inflation. It just wasn't possible. Now, what ha at the meeting, uh, it got tabled. So what are you being told about whether this has been withdrawn or it's no, going to come up later? I don't believe it's been withdrawn. I, I think that it, they're probably going to evaluate it further after seeing such strong opposition to the proposal. What are you prepared to do if it does pass? Well, the gasoline organizations and myself are prepared to, to fight this as, uh, as, 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 prop as hard as we can because this, this means the livelihood of myself and my, 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 uh, my employees. And, of course, uh, the gas station owners uh, will also suffer because of the expense. But at the end of the day, really, it's the motorist. For, for really less than $10 a year, which is what it costs to properly maintain your tires, folks will not get reliable air. And, and lastly, any compromise in the works at all? Any, any compromise <clears throat> even possible? I, I'm sure that we can compromise. I'm, I'm awaiting a call from my, my representative, Councilman um, uh, uh, Ed Agostino, um, to, for a phone call. And when he calls me, we will... Uh well, let us know what you find out, and of course, we're going to be following what the town does, as will everyone, uh, on this issue of free air or hot air, which is it. Bill McCabe, local air machine vendor, giving you his side. Thanks for airing this debate out with us Thank today. Thank you so much. And we'll be right back.